Good morning and welcome to this morning prayer on Wednesday. Reading again from Jesus Calling. I'm taking care of you. Trust me at all times. Trust me in all circumstances. Trust me with all of your heart. When you are weary and everything seems to be going wrong, you can still utter those four words. I trust you, Jesus. By doing so, you release matters into my control and you fall back into the security of my everlasting arms. Before you arise from your bed in the morning, I have already arranged the events of your day. Every day provides many opportunities for you to learn my ways and grow closer to me. Signs of my presence brighten even the dullest day when you have eyes that are really upon me. And so search for me as for hidden treasure and I will be found by you. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Blessed are you, creator of all, to you be praise and glory for ever. As your dawn renews the face of the earth, bringing light and life to all creation, May we rejoice in this day that you have made, as we wake refreshed from the depths of sleep, open our eyes to behold your presence, and strengthen our hands to do your will, that the world may rejoice and give you praise. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. So this morning's psalm is Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore we will not fear, though the earth be moved, And though the mountains tremble in the heart of the sea, though the waters rage and swell, and though the mountains quake at the towering seas, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place of the dwelling of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, therefore shall she not be removed. God shall help her at the break of day. The nations are in uproar, and the kingdoms are shaken. But God utters his voice, and the earth shall melt away. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our stronghold. Come and behold the works of the Lord. What destruction he has wrought upon the earth. He makes wars to cease in all the world. He shatters the bow and snaps the spear and burns the chariots in fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. God of Jacob is our stronghold. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Our first reading is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 6, beginning at verse 11. Now the earth was corrupt in God's sight, and the earth was filled with violence. And God saw that the earth was corrupt, for all flesh had corrupted its ways upon the earth. And God said to Noah, I have determined to make an end of all flesh, for the earth is filled with violence because of them. Now I am going to destroy them along with the earth. Make yourself an ark of cypress wood. Make rooms in the ark and cover it inside and out with pitch. And this is how you are to make it. The length of the ark is 300 cubits, its width 50 cubits, and its height 30 cubits. Make a roof for the ark and finish it to a cubit above, and put the door of the ark in its side. Make it with lower, second, and third decks. For my part, I am going to bring a flood of waters on the earth to destroy from under heaven all flesh in which is the breath of life. Everything that is on the earth shall die. But I will establish my covenant with you, 
And you shall come into the ark, your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives with you. And of every living thing of all flesh, you shall bring two of every kind into the ark, to keep them alive with you. They shall be male and female. Of the birds according to their kinds, and of the animals according to their kinds, of every creeping thing of the ground according to its kind, two of every kind shall come into you to keep them alive. Also take with you every kind of food that is eaten, and store it up, and it shall serve as food for you and for them. Noah did this. He did all that God commanded him. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. Seek the Lord while he may be found, call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked abandon their ways and the unrighteous their thoughts. Return to the Lord who will have mercy, to our God who will richly pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from above and return not again but water the earth, bringing forth life and giving growth, seed for sowing and bread to eat, so is my word that goes forth from my mouth. It will not return to me fruitless, but it will accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the task I gave it. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Return to the Lord who will pardon, to our God who will richly pardon. Our second reading is taken from Paul's letter to the Ephesians, chapter 6, beginning at verse 10. Finally, be strong in the Lord, and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armour of God, so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For our struggle is not against enemies of blood and flesh, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Therefore take up the whole armour of God, so that you may be able to withstand on that evil day, and having done everything, to stand firm. Stand therefore and fasten the belt of truth around your waist, and put on the breastplate of righteousness. As shoes for your feet, put on whatever will make you ready to proclaim the gospel of peace. With all these, take the shield of faith, with which you will able, be able to quench all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. To that end, keep alert and always persevere in prayers for all the saints. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. For I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and afterwards receive me with glory. We say the Benedictus together. You show mercy to our ancestors and to remember your holy covenant. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. 
in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You show mercy to our ancestors, and remember your holy covenant. So let us pray. Lord, you have promised to be with us always. And so wherever we are, Lord, we bring to you our requests. We bring to you our fears and our anxieties. We bring to you our fractured world, the hungry, the homeless, victims of famine, disaster, war or oppression. Those who are denied not just the bare essentials of life, but also the resources and opportunity to work for change. Risen Lord, bring hope and new beginnings. We pray for those who are sick and suffering, those wrestling with illness or disease. We remember especially this day Tony and Mark. We pray for those who have lost loved ones, those who are at this time unable to gather for funerals. We pray for those whose lives have been blighted by any form of evil, victims of violence, war and terrorism. We pray for communities and society as a whole, those who face the loss of jobs, people who face the loss of livelihoods and homes. Risen Lord, bring hope and new beginnings. We pray for this planet that you had given to us, once seeming so solid and secure, but exposed now as all too vulnerable. Lord God, where we see problems to which there seem no solutions, needs to which there seem few answers, reach out to bring wholeness and healing, the opportunity to learn from the past and so build for the future. Risen Lord, bring hope and new beginnings. Almighty and everlasting God, we thank you that you have brought us safely to the beginning of this day. Keep us from falling into sin or running into danger. Order us in all our doings and guide us to do always what is righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.